Buongiorno. Now I'm getting ready. I haven't put my makeup on yet, but anyway, skirt, sunshiny day outside. I have been preparing my luggage. The woman who takes care of this Airbnb stopped by to pick up linens that need to go into cleaning because fortunately I'm able to stay tonight, another night, because Italy doesn't want me to go. And as a result of that, I did get my flight for 11.45 tomorrow morning, but today was what they call shokro, shok, shokro is a strike, an Italian union strike. And this is actually something I forgot about that's very common. Yeah, e normale. So let me show you what I've done so far. I basically packed up my big suitcase. I took everything out of the closet. I am predominantly ready to rock and roll out of here. I have a couple things to throw back in the suitcase that are like in the counter and what I'm still using, but all my clothes are packed and my clothes are ready for tomorrow morning. I'm gonna wear my romper, my onesie, make it simple, wear sneakers. Yeah, I feel good about this. Now I'm gonna go get myself a cappuccino. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, this is how I roll. Make the best of what you got, because when you don't have the best, you know, because you'll appreciate it. So when you don't have the best, you do the best you can with what you got, and that's what I'm doing. I am of adaptable, flexible, and I see the opportunity in the silver lining in the delay and the cancellations. It's a quick recap, what I've been utilizing. I have to remember to not forget my favorite wraps and jewelry. These aren't mine, these don't belong to me. Just the books on up. This stuff, suitcase is packed. We got flip-flops for running around the house. Charger, <laughs> stand for my iPhone, purse and clothes, and then I have my little goodie foods and then some stuff in the bathroom. So yeah, I am pretty much ready to go. What better way to start my day than to go find another biscotti and cappuccino. Feeling golden today. They have the chili AG. They have cherry with the almond biscotti. I will be back here later to pick some up to try. It's mini skirt day. I am going to make my way to Piazza San Marco and have a cappuccino over there because they have cappuccino with almond milk. And I haven't had that since I've been here. So I'm going to try it at the wonderful restaurant I Quadri over there next to the beautiful sounds of the orchestra and enjoy that time over there. Yeah. Then I may try to go to a Taverna al Remer where they have happy hour. And they have the most amazing if they're still doing it. They would bring out this big risotto in the big wedge of cheese. Of I'm going to make my way over to Piazza San Marco and have a cappuccino, probably at I Quadri. There's those pomegranates, melangrano. You see the little, little bulbs? <laughs> They'll be ripe in this, the winter because those are winter fruit. So yeah, we're going to go and have a cappuccino with latte di man mandorle, which is almond milk, because I have not had that since I've been in Italy, and it's actually more common than you realize if you ask for alternative milks. My last day officially <laughs> extended because Italy didn't want to let me go and wanted to keep me hostage. You know, it was one thing for Italy to tug at my heart and literally call me back home, but it's another to... <laughs> and, and I stand corrected, it is not shokro, sh shiroko. Shiroko is the African winds that happen. Shopro is an Italian labor strike, basically. It's a strike. Shopro. Yep, look how bright the colors are today. Hence why I'm wearing golden colors myself. 
yellow, like the sun, because of course I'm a sun baby, August 1st, summertime lion. I am wearing all my lion attire. It is so fresh in the, in the shade and it's a sunshiny day. Now this top's a little bit unique. <laughs> and since I don't have the big boobies anymore, it's actually quite, you know what? Here's the funny part. I had them for so long, they were normal and I never questioned it. But when I had them taken out, I realized, wow, this feels more natural. It had been that long. And again, if you haven't been following me or listened or watched any of my videos since I had my explant, this was a huge, literal, energetic and physical lifting off of my heart and chest. And it literally broke my heart open emotionally, mentally, physically in so many ways. Because this is where your heart and lungs are, people. And if you're putting up a shield physically or even energetically, whew, that's some heavy weight to carry. And I didn't even realize I had been doing the work for so long as a yoga teacher, as you know, I've, di I've dived so deep into the healing personal development world that I thought I was, I thought I had such an open heart. Yeah, no. This literally brought back 23 years of unfelt experiences um, that I am resolving now. All in one fail swoop. Not fail though, lack there of the fail. That ever since I started this journey, I, am, I have a tender heart and I am more in touch with my five senses than I ever was. Because when you do that, you reveal what is really going on within you. And you may think you're in touch with things, but there's always another layer to unveil, to peel away, just like an onion. We are many layers, or millefolie, you know, the million folds of the pastry, or the pasta. So crazy and I'm so grateful because I'm grateful for the experience of having had them and gone through that to also witness the gift of it again there's a silver lining in everything if you can look for it if you can acknowledge it just like my trip with the cancellation one more day in paradise to me anyway hey if you're gonna be stranded somewhere might as well be Italy Kind of like I said, where if I'm going to go and fall in love again or have my heart broken, might as well do it in style. The Italians do that well. <laughs> oh, I could tell some stories. I, I've got books to write. But in the meantime, you get to hear me in my videos. And I could tell you some stories anyway. All these Venice Film Festival parties and events and the people you meet and greet and experience collective collaboration we're all contributing to this colorful life make your life a living art make it a walking prayer like everything you do do it from an open heart don't close your heart down that's what causes disease. If anything, the more open your heart, the more impenetrable you are because you expand yourself and that's your aura, that's your electromagnetic field and your, your breath, your life force. The more you expand yourself, the more people can't touch you energetically. But it's about awareness. And if you're, you're trying to control the externals, it's only because you're, you can't control your internals. So gain control over those internal issues, sensations, and you will, as they say, it all ripples out. What you do within colors the world without, colors everything outside of you. I love it when I get these funny looks. 
and then the typical tourists walk into you because they're not looking in front of them. <laughs> anyway, it's just part of, again, this is the canvas of life. How will you color it? Again, you are <sighs> all the world's a stage and you get to act and play. Make it fun. Stop being so serious. That's what I used to be. Yeah. Just do it. Get on to it. Okay. Onward and human bumper cars, especially with narrow alleys, <laughs> trying to make your way between people. People sometimes create their a wall because you got they have to walk side by side. I don't know what that's about. Sometimes it's like you can't peel two people apart, but there's one person coming at them and they don't want to separate. It's like, no, as if <laughs> it's the funniest thing to me. I find life is a divine comedy anyway. Mmm, yummy. Okay. Oh, sfogliatella. Those are so good. I can't eat them anymore, but they were one of my favorites when I lived in Naples. Oh, there you go. Okay. Nice. Got to capture the views when you can. Ponte del Love or Lovo. <laughs> and then, if you know good coffee makers, this is the traditional Bialetti. This is the mocha. When you put that on the top of the, preferably gas stove is better because you can regulate that. But anyway, this is what I have at home. I've got a couple of them. I've had quite my own collection for sure. Make espresso, mocha espresso from 1933. Mm. Nice, okay. Let's go find us a really special cappuccino. Pizzeria. Teatro. Goldone. And then we're down the side where all the shopping is. So we're gonna go down the back side. You see what I mean? You could just take a, just keep attention to my, my videos and you'll see what I was saying about, <laughs> about how people look so lost. Especially when they're walking right into my camera and not paying attention. It's all humor. <laughs> Hmm. End of season sales. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cute little white dresses. I'm always looking for white. Mm -hmm. This is in the window. Mm -hmm. Long too. Giving me ideas, but unfortunately, I just don't feel like buying anything. You can get little dresses, cute. Yeah, just a pop in. Up in the dressing room with some beautiful, long, flowy, colorful dresses. What do you think? I really like the colors. Turquoise. And I just really love the, the fit. It's just elegant and flippy and wispy. See that? Glasses on my head so I don't lose them or forget them behind. 
All right, well, I didn't anticipate shopping, but it happened. And they're beautiful, long, flowy, silky skirt dresses because that's kind of the style I want to go with now. And I was speaking with the woman, Liliana, and she and I were talking about all the changes. And I paid in cash, by the way, and negotiated my price lower, just saying. We were just discussing how much it changed the world this past couple of years and that she's finally traveling on Sunday herself because of the fact that she needs a break and hasn't taken a vacation. So she's going to Barcelona to see her daughter. And now I'm going to get that cappuccino. I don't think these ever get old. How gorgeous are these costumes? The material, the masks, the detail, the art. There's a whole sense of pride in every little detail. Look at this. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Mm. Worldwide shipping, too. <laughs> the sounds of people eating out of their wrappers as they walk. It's not a very easy thing to pull off, eating, walking in narrow streets. And look at the froggy, fully rely on God. The rooster, the horsey. These big animal heads are just so impressive to me. I love, love, love the elephant, elefante. And of course, my lion. I'm looking back at my lions on my top. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, look at this art, it's so cute. The kitty cats. You hear the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't think you can see with the reflection as well. There's, I like that one. Yeah. Ooh, hello. All right, I love the languages. And I especially love to hear what to me sounds like music the different regional <laughs> you listen there's regional uh, sounds like we have accents in the states the same thing here same thing all over italy and when i lived over here that was one of my favorite things to do is just listen to people you know i'm a people watcher and as i would listen i would be able to pick up on what regions they were from the joya Mmm, jewelry is always nice too. Never. Yep. Oh. Ooh, now we're talking purses. Look at this. That is so cool. That is such a cool purse. Look at that, a big one too. Reminds you of an armadillo, huh? For sure. It's like armadillo inspired for sure. These are gorgeous. The fine arts. Hmm. Boldrini. Those are really cool. I've always loved that style of leather. It has to be a little harder for it to be able to do that, too. Hmm. Just like the... Basically, this is all kind of like when you think about leather, you think of... And, and also Dior's known for um, the saddlebags and the art of, of uh, saddles. So fashioned after saddles. Yeah, very cool. Guess there's your artist. That was super cool. I went in to go check out those purses. There's a Chinese girl on the side doing some sort of video. Looks like she might be an influencer. And I'm just going to, oh, Venki. Okay. Everybody knows Venki. They have the chocolates. I was going for a coffee, not a chocolate. Let me go look. Here we go. Hmm. 
See, when it, I remember Venki when it wasn't all this this big spread and it was mostly just chocolate ice cream that I would go for and especially in Rome I have to find out what's gluten free got the chocolate Aztec because that is what I get and I got it with raspberries lampone Ooh. buono yeah oh yeah that's a nice combination there's no milk in the chocolate and then you mix that with chocolate Almost straw in the raspberry is oh my gosh, I, that's a dream. You should try it. Mm -hmm. This is a cool restaurant. Look in here. Loving the lights. Close, but Why are we going this direction? Colleen's doing something. Yes, because I'm not sure this Little construction down this way. Right now, it, I, it appears I'm in the direction of Rialto, but I'm going still to San Marco. These Bottegas del Tartufo are everywhere. I haven't ventured in to try. Maybe I should. Yeah, I think I need to. I have to check if they have anything gluten-free, though, because they usually use the chips and... Okay, that's why I asked, do you want one, do you want two? Or you can take two like that, for 25, you can take two again for 25, so you make. But you're also less, like you're also less, like you're less. Yum. Yum. Truffle chips, too. I wasn't even going to chance that I was standing next to people using the spoon and just spreading it across crackers that were full of gluten. And, and that would have been cross-contamination. Yeah, not even worth it in my life to have even the slightest bit. But I will tell you, I have been feeling really good on this trip. Oh. Anyway, there's my feather. See, that was a great example of not looking for feathers. I don't look for them. I literally just look down and all around, and there they are. Mm, it's nice and windy. I'm going to make it down this way, though. And go for that. Cappuccino with latte di mandorle. Look at those ceilings. Look at that wrought iron. These are the details. This place has got so much amazing detail, architecture. Even just look at the ground. Like, it was so planned out to be beautiful, a work of art. Pride in workmanship. 
Just like these people who play over here. It looks like they're getting ready to start sit, start up the music again. So let's find Latte di Mandole. I believe it was over at my other place. Ah, sound volare. Oh my gosh, one of my Italian boyfriends used to love to sing this all the time. There we go.
And this is the other one over here. Cafe La Vena, which is also gorgeous inside. Let's take a tea quick peek. getting ready to start. They probably take turns since they're right next to each other. Can you imagine playing at the same time? It might be a little conflicting to the ears. They have to have the set schedules. I never paid attention as many times as I've been here. I can say that I can't count because it's been a lot. Oh, I love, love, love glass. Now glass art. Wow. Seriously. You have to be really good at that one. That's spooky. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, wait, you have to see this one. Something about the camera and the lights. It doesn't flicker in real life, but for some reason it does when I pass these places. That's really neat. You see how they did that with the glass? With the glasses in the glass. <laughs> Broken glass. That is clever. And that's creative art. Ooh, I'm loving that. That piece right there. And the balloons. I love the balloons too. Okie dokie. Onward. And don't forget puppets. When I was a little girl, here's a fun fact. I used to love puppets. My mother would get me the marionettes, the really cool ones. I actually don't know whatever happened to theirs, but I had them when I was a little girl. These are beautiful pieces. This is so gorgeous. Oh yes, the marionettes. Oh goodness, these are fun. How cool is that? This whole window front is so beautifully Decorated. Aww. Oh, the old art. Wanna see it? Uh? Oh, I love the old style of making paper. Si, grazie. So gorgeous. And all the inks, the ink rolls, the calligraphy. Absolutely gorgeous. This is bringing me back to my childhood, for sure. Pinocchio. Mm -hmm. ah, oh, yeah. brings me to a story that years ago when I was living down in the Naples area, I took a trip down, of course, one of many, around the Amalfi Coast into Amalfi, and there was an old paper mill that was abandoned, and I'll tell you what, I wish, wish I had the funding, I would totally love to do something like that, like, I want to do everything, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I know I am like that, like, there's so many things I want to do in this life. I want to be a beekeeper, have an apiary. I would love to do the original way of making paper because paper is an art in itself. The pulping, the textures, again, creating art, making everything art, like bring it back to the, the point of origin. And so even across here, look at this glasswork. How gorgeous is this window shop? Like this one really pulled you in with all the clean lines and all the beautiful colors. 
Buonasera. This is a bag made of wood. You cannot get over this gorgeous detail. It's oh. all hand sculpted. Uh, hand sculpted. Oh. See, si, si, si. Wow. Other colors as well. Oh my gosh, those are gorgeous. That's art. I really can't get over this detail. It's just absolutely amazing. Slick. She has other colors and other styles, just to give you perspective. That's 750 euro. That is a piece of art, for sure. And then some of the jewelry is just amazing. Colors? Oh, that's difficult. What is my favorite color? Oh, the gold. Okay, I like the wood. Is, we created specially this color not to repeat a black, even if we have black. Yeah, but sometimes I, I see some the black here. They have already a black bag, and a person who buys something like that, she has already a classic one, universal bag. She wants something different. That's why For we sure. created the color of it is more neutral, but yeah, not I love black. that. So the neutral is always a good yeah. choice for me, but I really the gold just caught my attention because I looked up and I saw it, and I'm a gold girl. That is gorgeous. Easy to transform, you see all the detail. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's heavy. It's it's heavier than it looks. It's something normally. Yeah, yeah. It could be heavier, you know. Yeah, for sure. And then look at this gorgeous jewelry. Now this, as you're seeing these petals, is leather. Okay, that's all done in leather details it's all about the details again this is art this is this, this is even better oh you're good i'm loving those earrings too that she tried on these right here are a lovely are not those pretty so they wrap around and where the center is like the spiral hmm. so these look like they're about let's see a hundred and i'm trying to find the price on here this is everything in the store is basically art. These are 98 euro. Sono fatto di oro. Allora sono le perline di vetro, vengono intagliati molto piccoli, si chiamano conterie, bisogna fare tipo 40 metri poi Wow, so about 40 40 meters? 40 metri? No, I just said it metaphorically. Each one it's, has its own meter we need to do. So each is a piece of glass, little pieces it's of glass. It's so so she was telling me about the artist and it's all handmade here in Venice. Look at that. That's special. And her daughter does it with her. So what you see here is a purse. How, how cool is that? It's a purse and in that purse is very fine glass. All of that is glass made in Murano and hand stitched. Same thing with this here, these necklaces. That's absolutely gorgeous. So if you think it's gold, some of it is actually metal. Hi. 
Some of it is actually metal, but a lot of it is glass. Very artisanal, artisanal. I can't speak scenes lately. My tongue gets a little twisted. And look at this, the coral. Again, it's all glass. Ooh, I do like it in red. That bag is a lot heavier than it looks. And this is that standard. It's a little bit lighter than the other one. Oh, there's a raspberry. That's always pretty. I like raspberry a lot. That would be a pretty bag to have. Piece of art. It's all made of wood. Very durable, too. And look at these earrings. Ooh la la. Yeah. So it's beautiful. It's a family business. Look at these bags. It's so cool the way she made all the sea urchin designs into bags using glass. So look at this. It's all glass. It's very hard to touch. I wouldn't. Also. So gorgeous. And then up here, we have the white, because I do like white as well. So, on to Remer. Well, that was funny. I just met a lady who was lost, and we just had a really cool conversation in a very short amount of time. She's uh, going to meet up with another woman she met that she had dinner with to go catch a gondola ride together, because she said, I didn't want to do it alone, and we're splitting the cost. I thought that was fabulous. And... Uh, yeah, she's like, do you like all these people? I'm like, not particularly, because nobody's really in their bodies here. And it was kind of comical, but she was lovely. And it was a quick, short meeting, because you do that here, everywhere. When I travel, I meet some of the most amazing people. I gotta get through these people, though, who are in front of me. The divine comedy. You have to dance in life. If you don't learn to dance to the rhythm that's going on around you, you'll find yourself struggling and suffering because it's the resistance that creates your pain. Life is about dancing in the rain. Life is about dancing energetically, mentally, emotionally, and physically. If you can adapt to your environment, you can, you can handle anything. Resilience. How resilient are you? It's always a test. It's always a test when you learn your lessons. That was sneaky. I almost passed it. It's right here. It's and this is what I remembered about this place is it literally is like sneaking in the corner. I have to go down this little alley to get to it. Oh hum. It should be down this way. It should be somewhere. I thought it was over here. In a secret little hiding space because it's down by the water. Yeah, it should be down here. See? You know what I'm talking about? If you don't if you don't know where you're going, if you don't know where to go, I should say, you may be missing out on something special. See, it's in here. Oh yeah. To me this is this is the best. So my friend Paul, who was playing the piano the other night, is the one that originally brought me here the first time. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, this is so cool. And it's, it's kind of like coming home. Buonasera. 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 Hey, and this is the uh, famous, infamous, this is the piano that Paul would play at when I would come in here. It's kind of dark in here, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful space. And the people are so, so kind. Yeah, and so risotto, they make the best. This is Nicola. He makes beautiful artistic cocktails. And I just didn't wanted to highlight that because that's another beautiful aspect of this place. It's the details. It's all of these gorgeous little nooks and crannies. Checking out the old well. 
And then even in the back, I forgot there's a special space back there. So they used to have the most amazing happy hours here. And this is Vincent. Grazie. So I decided this will be my last dinner here in, in Venice. And this is my little table, special for me. And this quaint, beautiful, and that's where the bathroom is. It's like, that's why they call it a tavern, obviously. But that's what I love about it is just the rustic appeal. Let's see that. Again, the lion's always watching over me. And shall we sit? Dinner by candlelight. Just me. I do an early dinner tonight. Ah, un piacere. Grazie. It was wonderful to meet you. Ciao. So, sometimes it's nice to revisit and check out these little spaces, but they have the best risotto that they bring out in the big, um, like the cheese wheels that you see, the grana padana or the parmigiana, and it's regional, right? So grana padana is the other lower end of the... Parmigiana, but they're both equally delicious and it's just a slight difference in sharpness and flavor And they no longer do the happy hour like they used to because it's not money-making, but that's okay because I know their food is delicious here They have privates over here. See, there's like, like I said, nooks and crannies. Exploring these little areas. Mm -hmm. It's all about the details. Pay attention to your surroundings and just take it all in. Mm -hmm. I love it with the candles. I've seen those completely covered with the wax. There's a beautiful decanter for wine. And here's the menu. Also, that's not on the menu that they had already told me about. So, yeah, it's just a decision. What am I going to eat? <laughs> okay. Si chiama? Si chiama Ayon della Cantina Morde. È un monte pulciano che viene cresciuto nel Monte Conero. Un monte alto da tutte le marche. Siamo a metà strada fra il mare e le montagne. Quindi è fresco come un vino di montagna, una buona acidità, ma anche una buona sapidità che viene dal mare. In più è un vino biodinamico, quindi fa bene anche al vostro corpo. È un vino giovane, molto vinoso, quindi fresco. Allora, me, meno di alcolico, allora. Esattamente. Sì. So it's less alcohol because of the, the youthfulness of the wine. Right. Deve fare così per respirare, you have to make so the wine breathes. Questo mm. more ribes, frutti di bosco, giovani, almost fully ripe, but not yet. I like it, that's perfect. And bone choice. Grazie. Bone choice. You don't want to confirm? It's beautiful. Grazie <laughs> mille. Yeah, tanta roba questa. This is filetto, carpaccio di filetto with the pini, pinoli, and the olives. 
Bon appetito. All right, Carlo has just brought us a special reserva uh, of caperla. caperla. Oh, I've never seen this. I just saw this beautiful caperla. We ran a reserva. It's uh, an amazing one. It's special, different from uh, the regular Lugana taste. Lugana usually is very dry. One is more on the smooth side and slightly fruity on the tropical fruitiness. And half the grape grow up still tank songs, so very acidic and light and refreshing. The other half in big oak bubble, making the wine more structured, more complex, and higher tropicality, I would say. You will really smell banana, pineapple, and grapefruit. Perfect match with the turbos. Beautiful. Grazie. Anyway, yeah, Grazie. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and I can smell it. It's so floral. Mm, hold on. Yeah, I make my fingers. <laughs> it's very tropical for sure. <laughs> It's very, very delicious. Not too sweet, just right. I do taste the banana after flight flavor. More the grapefruit. I feel the banana on the sides of my tongue. Mm. Mm, it's really, really good. Molto buono. Cheers to my official last night. <laughs> ah, voila. Rombo. Dad is going to introduce the plate for you. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Wow, look at this. Grazie mille. Mm, so beautiful. Thank you, Vincenzo, for being my guest and my eating partner here. Buon appetito. Buon appetito, Anna. This is my dessert. Ananas, pineapple. Yes. Yummy. Sweet treats. And that was a pleasant surprise to have myself treated to dinner tonight by Vincenzo Vincent, super sweet man, and he's playing the ball. And now it's time to go back and have a good night's rest. Or maybe I might log into a course that I'm taking. See these hidden alleys and these little nooks and crannies, you can find the best places to eat. <laughs> and good company, of course, too. <laughs> See, you probably wouldn't have found this unless I showed it to you. Definitely a hidden little gem. And if you ever come to Venice, definitely check out Taverna di Vermeer. Oh, look, see, this is the main street coming up. <laughs> oh, I love it. If I, I almost passed it, too. Now we're here, the main street. Last views of the canal. Well, of course, I'll have to come back. Not specifically to this Actually, area. Nice there. I remember eating there many years ago. Which one is that one? Right in the corner. I remember. It was many, many years ago, maybe even 22 years ago. Yeah, no, I just keep going for years and years. It was a pleasant surprise. I went over to the tavern, Raymer, hoping to catch happy hour and maybe a friend for a celebratory birthday drink for him, but he didn't show up and that's okay. Because instead I made friends with people I know I had met years ago. And Vincenzo, Vincenzo took care of me and treated me to an amazing yummy dinner. Been a good night last night. When the moon hits your eye like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. And that is how Italy 
surprises, delights me, and treats me well. I love it. I love being here. I needed this trip more than anything. Sweet dreams. Sneak peek of three dresses that I purchased tonight in Venezia. Feeling very feminine, flowy, mm. tassels, open back, and ruffles, silky, smooth, and sensual. So when I was walking around, I ended up going into a store and trying on some dresses. What do you think of this? Tell me the truth. Do you like this dress? It's nice and flowy and silky. And how about this one? Golden with some reds and some greens. Lots of ruffles at the bottom. And then there's this beautiful turquoise. Which do you prefer? Which do you like? I like them all. All these gorgeous, vibrant colors. You know what? I'm actually a little tired. I'm going to get to bed earlier than I normally do. I had an amazing night. Cute little golden outfit. See all my lions? See my beautiful sun a constellation? I am a Leo. I am a lion. So grateful I did what I did today because I got closer to being ready for tomorrow. I need to leave out of here probably by 9 a.m. because it's gonna take 45 minutes by the Ali Laguna and my flight is at 11.45 and they're taking luggage up until I think 11 or 10.45. So up to the hour before I have to check my luggage in. So that means as long as I'm there, by 10 o'clock, I should be okay. I should be like perfect timing. Um, I may leave a little bit earlier. First thing I'm gonna do though, is if you didn't notice, I'm gonna go around the corner and get a biscotti with uh, the cherries to take with me, cause I'm sure I'm gonna like it. I can only imagine I've had biscotti with cherries inside. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Dinner was absolutely delicious. I don't normally drink, but I had two small glasses of wine. The first was a red, which was delicious. And if you watched this video, you'll also notice that as well as the white look. I think it was Lugano. It was delicious. It was really, really good. And I was treated by this beautiful man without any expectation in return, but just perfect, beautiful company, having lovely conversations, and just appreciating life, being in the moment, and this is what I remember the most about Italy. Italy always surprises and delights me. Always takes care of me. So Italy is proving to me that it wants me back. And I'm excited because a friend of mine turns out to have an Airbnb over in Lampedusa. If you've never been to Lampedusa and you want to do a retreat with me, stay tuned because that's where I think I'll be heading next. Not necessarily on this leg of my trip, but just wait, I got a surprise. You'll get to find out where I go tomorrow. Let me know in the comments if you know or you have an idea. You got a guess? I dare ya. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Good night, sweet dreams.